Ready Hello, everybody. Work. Welcome to game two to Pass Through and Lucy Frown and game one. Is pretty, it's a good game. I'm gonna lie Ready to you. To game work. two is better. Ready game to three is gonna be uh, one of the best games. But anyway, Lucy Frown is going to, to be the Blue Oak player spawning at 8 o'clock on the Twisted Meadows, and the Hasu is going to be the Orange and Dead player spawning at the Work on, uh, 11 o'clock on Twisted Metals, Playmaster versus DK, maybe we're gonna see uh, the similar strategy from game, game 1, Mass Ghouls versus D Undead. But Twisted Metals is really similar to uh, Plunder Isles 2.0, I have to say, except uh, Twisted Metals has more expansions and more creeps. In fact, uh, oh man, <laughs> Lucifer is gonna try to do that trick with the Playmaster and try to get his uh, tome out of the sacker here, trapper here. Uh, tome is strength, not not the best for a blame master, but blame master is gonna get it. Um, we're after getting attack. 48 experience out of that, um, <laughs> peon gets killed and be converted into two skeleton warriors. And uh, yeah, the blame master doesn't have a train chance to just DK and two skeleton warriors. Uh, coil on the deep blame master. I don't know what. Uh, oh man, that's two coils right there. I'm coming from DK. Blame master can always want to walk out of there. And another coil. Maybe the blame master can get a chase. And meanwhile, I believe Hazard's gonna do. Nope, he's gonna back away. It's just a standard. Whoa, not a not so standard. No barracks. What is what is Lucifer doing? Oh my God, no barracks. I was gonna say standard org build, but hell no. Oh man. Okay, let's see if Hazard just uh, scout this. Uh, he's going to his base, and if he sees no barracks, I would go for a tower push. Like right now, DK is gonna go back to the base and grab an org with a uh, not with a uh, skull for. Uh, what do you We're call those complete. things? Those, um, a, a sacrificial skull and just do a tower rush. And there's no way Gore can defend against this. And no, he's not. He's not going to do a tower attack. rush. What is he doing? He's going to uh, get the flame after low. Uh, okay. And try to save a ghoul. And the ghoul went down. And another ghoul is about to get coiled. We're Blame complete. Master is really low here, and let's see what, oh man, he's missing the window of opportunity here. Two goals went down by the Blame Master, now the Blame Master is going to try to run with, a, no, with no boost, uh, by the way, I should say. And uh, the ghoul is going to back away. Ah, uh, he's missing his window of opportunity, look at this, no, nothing, no, not even a war mill. So the, so, so Lucifer can't even put up tower to defend against the tower rush. <laughs> Someone left. <laughs> no, anyway. Anyway, Blame Master is going to try to do some damage on the DK, DK is going to dust, and just uh, get, try to get out, but the Ghoul is going to block the DK, DK is going to definitely try to get out, the Blame Master has a boost of speed, the DK needs to do micro, do some really nice nice micro here, the Blame Master is going to win walk, and just try to get the DK down, DK has, probably has to TTP over here, uh, I don't know about uh, TP in level 1 hero, but uh, yeah, let's, let's see if um, um, has to try to use a tree line, and has uh, Lucifer is not gonna fall for that. DK try to die from the creeps, and nope, Blame Master got that kill. Very nicely done, and uh, yeah. Oh man, wow, no barracks at all. Now we're gonna see a beastery, two two beastries being planted by <laughs> by Kasu. I'm hoping, I'm hoping no. Uh, Wind Riders because that's gonna be humiliating for undead player to lose to Wind Riders versus Farm Orc. <laughs> oh man. Oh god, this is gonna be a Wind Rider build, I know it. Uh, and uh, yeah, Shadow Hunter almost is almost always uh, as a follow up with the Wind Riders because the Shadow Hunter just kinda of just hacks all, all that kinda of just hacks the fiends and just and, and yeah, exactly hacks the fiends and maybe we're gonna do some chain heal. Oh man, these ah. Oh. We're complete. Oh whatever. We're DK is gonna try to <laughs> try to do some get another set of a rod of necromancy. Maybe get a set of skunk and words from the from the graveyard. Here we go. And uh, yeah, here comes the blade master again. Let's see if uh, no no. Uh, we're gonna have to try to cancel this sacrificial pit. Yeah, he's been canceled by <laughs> the Hasu. Now Hasu is screwed. Hasu has no sac another sacrificial pit being rebuilt. Uh, and Lucy Brown is trying to hide his uh, wind riders, and since has him to suspect something's going on because he hasn't seen any raiders or any, or, or any grunts for that matter. Any any other units or uh, failed attempt to surround the blade master. Blade master is still getting slowed by the by the hall of the halls of the hall of the dead. Hall of the dead. Hall, halls of the dead. Uh, I don't know why. There's only one hall, but whatever. 
maybe he has multiple halls inside. Anyway, no anti-air from the from the undead at all, except that the Ruby Tower do like a one damage every other year. So we're gonna <laughs> I have some uh one you know, let's see what that is. Oh it's the uh, it's the Lich Lizard gonna go down here. And see a little Oh it's a fiend, I'm sorry. Where's the Lich go for? Right? Oh yeah, I don't know. But the uh, the fiend is gonna go down. Um with a level one coil this isn't gonna cut it. And <laughs> Yep, and the blade mouse can cut it. Ooh. Yep, there goes the fiend. And the second fiend, there's no more fiend being queued up. <laughs> well, what Lucy Ron's gonna do. You can get some gargoyles to counter, but gargoyles cost a lot of freaking gold. Oh man, more more oh, more wind riders being queued up. There's a web upgrade without a fiend, this is funny. And so Hasu I'm sorry, yeah, Hasu has to micro is pretty hard with a Getting a spirit tower, every oh man, I have never seen any undead one again with a spirit tower except except for Ted when he do the um, Liz tower rush. Oh man, this is really really bad. In snare being researched, so we're gonna see a tech switch from Booster Brown actually you can switch to Raiders. To maybe. So everything that the undead has is pretty much useless except that spirit tower to defend his economy. Meanwhile he's gonna have to spend his money um his money repairing the shop and and you do um do some uh, gold mining at the same time with the with um with the uh, uh, acolytes. Uh, or can creep out of the orange shop. I think orcs can creep everywhere. Uh, just creep out the map around around Hassu's base to make Hassu to creep out elsewhere, and he so he can creep back and trap out of them. Let's see what item he dropped. It was, oh, it's a claw attack plus six. Man, uh, and yeah, Wind Rider is going to be really really you know, uh, effective here. Focus on DK. DK is going to be really low. DK one more. Oh, DK. Oh. I think it wasn't the next. Blade Master needs to, be, needs to be careful. Blade Master needs to be really careful. Ah, oh, Blade Master gets killed. Oh, <laughs> but still, oh man, still Lucifer doesn't have any answer. To, I'm sorry, uh, Hassel doesn't have any answer against these Wind Riders. Lucifer can get killed. Blade, you gotta, you gotta be, uh, you gotta believe DK's next. I believe the DK was killed by the um, DK attack. killed the Lich. Yeah, DK killed the Lich. I have to say it's pretty slick. Um, not to be micro by <laughs> has to kill his lich by himself, with himself. Oh, two fiends being queued. Uh, you never want to see this. Uh, w stay in one base We're and you have queues in your, in your building build order. Uh, building. Oh man! Wow, Shadow Hunter gets a true shot aura, right. <laughs> and all the one riders gets ten percent boost. Man, this shady gets revealed, and uh, yeah. Shadow Hunter is gonna get a lot of freaking. I think the Shadow Hunter has gotta be the first um, target of nuking for Hasu. Hasu has to nuke that Shadow Hunter out of there just to get away, just to get that true shot over out of the way for if anything. And uh, man, Hasu trying to creep back, but finish his creeps, get a little 2DK finally. Um, Blade Master is gonna be we're back, complete. and by the time we're Blade Master is back, we're gonna see the full arsenal of um, well, not full arsenal, just a full complement of Wind Riders. These Wind Riders needs to be micro. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> <Ready to soul laughs> some snare to get to keep the Blade Master uh, clearly potion up, and we're gonna see uh, Undead trying to creep with those suck real skull. I mean, it's too late. He couldn't have gotten that suck real skull about ten minutes ago. Tower rush to the crap out of the orc. I would uh, that person. I would have done that personally. My fiend is gonna get picked off right here. He didn't use didn't even use his web. Um, if, if the fiend is gonna get killed, he might as well use anything he has. Let's just get a wrap. Level three shadow hunter, level two blade master, and yeah, the undead has no answer to this one. Wind riders. <laughs> this is really really. Uh, another crib being placed just to. Counter just a mass fiend versus the wind riders. Under attack. And he's gonna face a um, tech switch from or getting a lot of freaking raiders from the tech switch. And uh, man, Burrow's being researched, that's not gonna work. I don't think. One of them, one of them used dust. I think the Shadow Hunter used the dust. Anyway, and I'm playing after getting stuck. And DK needs to be careful. Another new snare, a uh, hex, and there goes the snare. They go with DK with a lot of items. DK had a lot of items when he died. That's like what a thousand gold down the drain right there. 
Though I'm sure there's no way I'm gonna attend it. Okay, I'm gonna try, to, try this a while. Try this off. One thing. Second thing, uh, GGG. -G -G. <laughs> GGG. Alright. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed game two. It's a surprise, uh, um, one rider build from, <laughs> from Lucifer, but, uh, yeah. Hope you guys, hope you guys to enjoy this game and, uh, yeah. See you in game three.